Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to determine the coefficient of consolidation using the square root of time method. And there's also another commonly used method called the logarithm of time method, which will be covered in a separate video. So for this video, we're going to focus on the second approach here. Uh, for the square root of time method, as the name suggests, you plot the deformation of your consolidation test data, that's your deformation data, versus the square root of time. And depending on what part of the consolidation test data you use to plot this curve, you may get two slightly different types of curves. The first curve is where there's no initial compression, and the second curve is where you have an initial compression stage uh, on your curve. So I put these two types of curves side by side, and it's probably a little bit hard to see this way. So if we put these two curves right on top of each other, and you will notice that the difference lies in the initial stage. So for curve number one, there's no initial compression, and this is the case for instance, you're plotting the incremental loading data, say from 100 kilopascal to 200 kilopascal. And curve number two here, there's a clear initial compression stage where there's a rapid increase of deformation. And this may be the case where you're using the initial loading increment from your consolidation test. So depending on what curve you got or what curve you plot, the steps you take to get coefficient consolidation is slightly different. So I'm going to go over both curves in this video. Let's focus on the first one, curve number one. There's no initial compression. And the first step is to draw a line AB through the early linear pro portion of the curve. So this is curve AB, so fit a straight line through the early linear portion. And step number two is to draw a line AC such that the length OC is 1.15 times the length of OB. So for instance, if OB value, if B is 10, then OC will be 11.5. So you plot this line AC, this is step number two. And the intersection of this line AC with your consolidation curve, we call it point D. The abscissa of point D gives square root of T90. So basically the square root of time corresponding to 90% consolidation. And once you have this square root of T90, step number three is to calculate the coefficient of consolidation C sub B. And to do that, we're going to use Tersaghi's solution and using the definition of time factor capital T sub B 90, we can back calculate CV. So shown on this slide is the equation you can use to calculate C sub B. And in this equation, TV 90, that's a time factor. And from Tersaghi's solution, table 11.7, so that's the textbook we are using, and this T sub V90 is 0.848. And HDR, that's the drainage distance or the maximum drainage path. In 1D consolidation test, HDR equals to the half of the specimen height because you have double drainage. And notice that in this calculation, the T90 value you use is actually the square of the x-axis value you read from the curve because you plot time in square root time. So that's uh, the first curve where you have no initial compression. Now let's look at the second curve. As I mentioned, you may have a consolidation curve where there's a rapid increase of deformation initially. So you have this initial compression due to either the emitted deformation of the specimen or the apparatus. So for curve number two here, when you have initial compression, the difference between this curve and the first curve is how you treat this initial linear portion. So the step number one is to draw a line AB, 
but this time you want to avoid that initial compression. So you want to fit a linear line through the belly portion of the curve. So this is line AB. And you will notice that this intersection A of your straight line is below the initial deformation reading A0. So we try, we're trying to avoid that initial compression to basically eliminate that immediate settlement of the specimen. And from this point on, the method basically is the same as um, the, the first case. To draw a line AC this time, again, uh, where you have this OC is 1.15 times the length of OB. And the intersection of this line AC with your consolidation curve is again, we call this point D. And the corresponding time of point D is square root of T90. That's the time, square root of time for 90% consolidation. And once you have T90, you can calculate using uh, you can calculate C sub B using Tersaki's solution, same equation here, where the time factor T sub B90 is 0.848. Um, so this is again from table 11.7. 11, 11 and then that HDR is the drainage distance. It's half of the specimen height. And so that's basically the square root of time method for 1D consolidation test results.